Today, we will witness the heartfelt moments as these animals are freed for the first time from their confines. Let's follow their journey to reclaim freedom, those eyes filled with hope, those first steps on natural ground. It is joy, it is rebirth, and it is a testament to the love between humans and nature. Sometimes, releasing an animal back into the wild is not simply that act. For these three orphaned bear cubs, biologists not only rescued them, but also taught them survival skills for a whole year before they returned to the wild. Ten milu deer have been transported from Beijing to Hebei province, where they will be released into the wild in the hope of expanding the milu population. The animals were loaded onto a truck after being tranquilized on Saturday morning in Beijing and are expected to arrive in Mulan town in Hebei province after a six-hour trip. <laughs> The lioness Yuna was rescued from the war in Ukraine. They gave her a second chance at life, and now she's walking on grass for the first time in her life. All 17 bears previously confined in a zoo due to a lack of operating funds, had only a small space to move around, each in their own separate area. Fortunately, the 17 bears have been given a new life and acres to explore at a beautiful sanctuary in Colorado. Finally, all the unfortunate bears have returned to their true home. This is a historic milestone as they release a pair of Mexican wolves into the Blue Range Wolf Recovery Area in Arizona, aiming to establish a new population in this pristine wilderness. Marine rescues are often more challenging, especially for large animals like sharks. However, in this case, rescuers were fortunate to successfully return the giant shark to its home. This young man has become a close friend of these lions. However, it's now time for them to return to their real family. There's nothing better than coming back to one's own home, isn't it? It is not easy to do um, at another line facility. Um, it is a pro to having good relationships with these, these animals. Two seals got entangled in a fishing net and were injured. After being rescued by the rescue team and taken care of, both of them have now recovered and are ready to return to the ocean. To release a six-ton male elephant back into the wild, just having the intention is not enough. The volunteers must first find a suitable vehicle for it. Thanks to the efforts of many passionate individuals and organizations, they have completed an incredible 8,000-mile journey to their forever home in the sanctuary, where these lions have a bright future ahead. Eighty-eight bison have been returned to their native land where they will gain freedom and receive care from those who tend to the Native American bison.
these two tigers had to live in a train car for over 15 years and had never set foot on grass. Their previous owner only fed them once a week and did not care for them properly. Fortunately, a group of kind people rescued the tigers and brought them to a sanctuary in South Africa, where they will surely have a happy life. The platypus George had to spend several months at the Taronga Hospital after being found in a lethargic and emaciated state. But that is a story of the past. Now, it will begin a new life in the wild. Let's go. Shh. Yeah. Shh. We need to see how big you are. Shh. There we go. Shh. After two years of careful care, it is time for this wombat to be mature enough to return to the wild. This is a new beginning, and I believe it will do well. Hey, Miguel. After 18 months of treatment and fighting for his life, here he is, a majestic python returning to his native sanctuary. Today, these volunteers change the lives of the deer by bringing them home. 14 white-tailed deer have returned to the life they have always dreamed of. This snowy owl is one of over 50,000 wild animals that the Wildlife Haven Rehabilitation Center has dedicatedly rescued and rehabilitated after being injured, sick, or orphaned. A great horned owl has been released back into the wild after completing its recovery. This is the result of joint efforts by many passionate individuals, foundations, and partners who have come together to release 25 bighorn sheep back into their natural habitat. The hummingbird got stuck in the man's garage and he helped the bird and released it back into the wild. Oh. Ready? Yeah. The release of 25 endangered black-footed ferrets onto a private ranch marks the first historical event of its kind in Arizona, made possible by a special federal conservation agreement. There's nothing more wonderful than seeing these animals return to their natural habitat. They release tons of fish into the river with the aim of restoring the ecosystem and creating new life opportunities for these creatures. Additionally, these fish carry the hope for a sustainable future for the entire ecosystem. A spectacular sight unfolded as thousands of birds soared into the sky, embracing their freedom. This image is truly inspiring, filling us with hope for these magnificent creatures. After a long winter, these cows finally took their first step outside, and for some of the calves, it was their first walk in their lives. A striped hyena narrowly escaped death after falling into a 15-foot deep well in Ane village, located in the Altur forest range of Maharashtra. Fortunately, volunteers discovered it in time and rescued it. After a medical examination and treatment on site, it was released back into the wild. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
the critically injured vulture was nursed back to health by a wildlife conservation organization. Six months later, it was released back into the wild, and look how happy it is to be home. It's time for this weasel to return to where it belongs, and its steps show just how happy it is. Poor animals get easily trapped in nets, even clotheslines. In such situations, there is always a hero who appears to rescue them giving them a chance to survive and return to their natural lives. In the first few moments after the cage door was opened, the leopard couldn't even believe it had gained its freedom. Sometimes, being confined for too long can make one lose the will to live. Good news from Forder Valley in Plymouth, where for the first time in over 400 years, Eurasian beavers have been released to create a suitable habitat. Hoover was the only one of 12 tigers that an international animal rights organization managed to save from a cramped cage in a Peruvian gas station thanks to volunteers he was able to find a new home where he saw the forest for the first time and even swam in a lake. As soon as the civet cat realized this was its home, it ran away as fast as it could without looking back. It didn't want to stay in the small cage for another minute. Clearwater Marine Aquarium has released Otis and Calusa, two immature green sea turtles, back into the ocean for conservation purposes. It's amazing to see these turtles return to the sea. Two, three. <laughs> the release of three river otters into the Provo River is a significant step in the effort to restore and conserve this species. This action demonstrates our commitment to protecting wildlife and maintaining ecological balance. People who are willing to help animals are real-life heroes, without capes or armor. They silently save the lives of unfortunate animals in need of help. The Old Pajeda Conservancy recently received a call for help about a trapped leopard that needed to be transferred to the sanctuary. Luckily, the team was always ready and trained to handle this situation. Does watching this video of a dove a symbol of peace ever melt your heart. Since birth, these zebras have craved nothing but freedom, and no one has the right to confine them. <laughs> this fox was captured a few days ago, and it's understandable that he's angry. He's fighting for his freedom. <laughs> this baby elephant named Tofu was rescued from a riding camp. It can be seen easily adapting and interacting with other elephants at the sanctuary where it was taken after being rescued. This bear's life changed overnight. While it used to spend its entire life in a cage, now it can do everything it loves, swimming, wandering around, and playing in the snow. 
These mischievous honey badgers have torn apart a food storage facility belonging to the farmers, which forced them to set some traps to catch them. But don't worry, because after being captured, they were taken directly to a safe sanctuary. These beautiful birds went through a chaotic time and had to go to a wildlife rehabilitation hospital with paralysis syndrome. After a period of care and recovery, it is finally time for them to return to the wild. This is the first time I've seen the police reveal what they were hiding in the back seat of the car. Just kidding. This vulture was very lucky to have the experience of being escorted home by the police. This large turtle is around 60 to 70 years old, and it is better suited to be released back into the water. This 60-pound Pacific octopus has been in the research facility at the Seattle Aquarium since it was the size of a grain of rice. But now, it's time for it to go out and start its journey of exploring the ocean. Among all the monkeys and orangutans released into the wild, they all quickly moved away without looking back. Just look at how happy they are to see the forest where they belong. It's time to release this snowy owl so he can continue his work at Hogwarts. Three. <laughs> it seems that this team of African penguins is spending all their free time preparing for a special escape mission. After years in captivity, these lions experienced freedom for the first time, thanks to the efforts of a rehabilitation center that gave them a second chance in their natural habitat. When they released a female hedgehog into a beautiful garden, she headed straight into the woods and stumbled upon a fence. That was the first danger in her new life in the wild. But still, that place is her true home. Exactly, the natural environment is where they truly belong. No creature should ever be stuffed in a cage is likely the slogan for the Maha Hollow Wildlife Rehabilitation Center, as the sheer number of animals they have freed truly deserves respect. Two California sea lions rescued by Pacific MMC were released back into the wild this morning by boat. Both animals overcame many challenges during their rehabilitation. These rare amphibians are known as hellbenders, and surprisingly, this is the 10,000th individual that the group of volunteers has released over 20 years of operation. Meet Ziggy, Bubbles, Siberia, and Sinbad, babies who lost their mother but miraculously found their way to the Marine Mammal Rescue Center at the Vancouver Aquarium. There, they underwent a rehabilitation program, and now it's time for them to explore the ocean. This camel was neglected and starved to the point where its hump collapsed, but volunteers found it, helped it recover, and were amazed to see it use all its strength to run freely for the first time. 
The little bear's first steps are a bit hesitant because it's the first time it has touched the grass. Can you see how happy it is? This is a wonderful collaborative project designed to bring the local wombat population back to Mulgoa. Their goal is to capture and relocate 300 ruffed grouse to Missouri to restore the grouse population. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for taking the time to watch this entire video. We hope you had relaxing and enjoyable moments. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications when we upload new videos. See you in the next video.